we are back. So we got our LSR suspension kit all on. We did not get to adjusting it, so it was late and we got the rear end put together last time. So we got to go through and adjust our alignment out. Um, there's a little extra adjustment actually with the LSR kit because you've got adjustable radius rods. So we've got camber adjustment in the back. We've got toe adjustment in the back through these adjustable toe links. And then we're going to go ahead and adjust the toe on the front as well, just to make sure, you know, our alignment is as squared away as it, uh, as it can be. So we got it in the garage all cleaned up. We're going to start by just getting it kind of levelish. Um, so when we measure our uh, camber angles, they're, you know, pretty accurate. So we just threw a level up on that bar, kind of got the machine sitting level, you know, got it close. And uh, I think we're going to start with, with camber, um, get that locked in, and then we'll go through and do our toe adjustments so so she's fully cambered right now dude yeah see, drift that, mode yep 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 that's not uh not quite what you want probably so we're looking for like max a degree of negative camber so that's the top of the wheels tipped in so in an off-road application or racing application typically you're going to want a little negative camber so we're going to throw a bar on the wheel and then with just a little you know magnetic angle finder see where we're at and shoot for like a half degree to a degree and Lock it in, so. Sweet. Should we use aluminum rod to stick a magnet in? Well, see This is all. ferrous aluminum. It's a whole lot, <laughs> lot different. You gotta pretend, eh? Uh, all right, so this is our setup. You know, it's not, uh, it's not great. Certainly there are better tools for measuring alignment. This is what we got. We're gonna get close with it, so. I got this bar, this piece of aluminum. We're just gonna kind of stick across the wheel. I'm gonna stick it across the bolt heads. And then uh, just kind of hold the base on there, let that needle settle. Yeah, geez, we're about, what, five yeah, degrees? Yeah, between four and five degrees right now. So, which is what it looks like. That makes sense. So, this needle will just come back here, give these guys a twist. I don't remember which way I put them on. There you go. There we go. So I'm just going to lengthen that top one just a bit. And then we'll just quick keep uh, tweaking them until we get to that. About that degree mark. Yeah, about at maybe two or three now. Yep, so. Okay. So do you want to just lengthen the top one or shorten the bottom one as well? No, I think we'll do both. So I'll shorten the bottom one a little bit this time. That's probably harder since you're pulling the tire in. Yeah. You might have to roll the machine a little bit, you know, to do this, but. Coming in a bit. So where do you find an angle didgeridoo like that? Oh gosh, I don't even remember where I got this man. You can buy these things online all over the place. I think I bought it at like a tool show. Uh, we're about we're getting there. It's like yeah, about two degrees. So a little turn and this one's gonna be all set. Yep, yep, yep. On the camber. Right. We still have a toe adjustment as well. That is looking a lot better, bud. Yeah. So what's next? Yep, I agree. So we're going to go on the other side, do the camber on the other side, and then start to uh, do our toe adjustments. So we did that because I think if we adjusted our toe, if we adjusted our toe length and got that all squared away, and then we started moving the other radius rods to adjust the camber, we would have thrown our toe off. So we'll do the camber on this side. We'll come in and uh, get the toe locked in, and we'll move to the front. Add it. So... Here's the idea for the toe measurement. Basically, we're going to use the out, outer edge of the rim on the inside. Yep. Yeah. And again, there's tools for this to attach to the wheels. You know, you can measure them out here with bars and whatnot. But we ain't got that kind of stuff. So we get a tape measure. We're just going to measure across the back of the wheel and then across the front of the wheel, which will be a little tricky. You'll have to stick the tape measure through the arm. Not a huge deal. Um, and we're looking for like a quarter inch of toe in back here is the recommendation. So throw a tape on it and then just kind of. You know, bring them all together till we get to where we want to be. And simple as that. Grab her, Mike. We got Mike on board today, by the way. Thanks for coming over, Ben. Holy smokes. I got about uh, 52 and 7 eighths. Huh, that's so, almost perfect. Almost perfect. Yeah, we got an eighth inch of toe in, which would run just fine. It would be fine there. So. Hmm, I'm almost yeah. willing to stay. We'll just leave it, dude. Honestly. I right. wonder if one's adjusted different than the other is my only concern. Right, right, this yeah. one looks like it has no toe, 
and that one looks like it has more toe. So, yeah, we tried to adjust everything the same on the bench, but so right. it doesn't mean it's exactly the same on the machine, so. Yeah, and when we got it down here, we are messing around with it too, so. So we can probably find a reference point somehow to the middle of the machine. Yeah, maybe just from the inner thing here to, yep. to that. To some point, try to make sure the back tires aren't, you know, pointed one way or another so you're not dog trapping. But We're close, though. Alright, so what'd you do there, Dougie? So, I just put a paint mark on the center of the frame. It's not a very good paint mark, but the middle of that is the center of the frame. So I just measured across here. So, using that for a reference point, and then we're just going to measure from the wheel to the middle of the paint mark. Do that on both sides. So we got about uh, 26 and 3 quarters. Well, that should be a bit longer on the other side if my guess was right. And we got about 26 and a half here. Yeah, so, so our quarter inch is coming from there. this side, yeah. So, okay, that makes sense. So we're pointed this way a little bit. We just got to tweak them over that way. Mm -hmm. Remeasure the toe, make sure we didn't move everything. So I guess if you just rotate them the same amount on each side, it should just move it. In theory. So we're going a little longer on this one. Which... So yeah, if you watch this thing, you can watch it move. As he turns that rod, it's pretty cool. So slick, man. It moved a lot when you did that. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see. So yeah, we're about 26 and, no, we're about 26 and 5 eighths. Okay. About 26 and 9 16. So wow. we're close. Super close. We're close. Give her maybe a little, a little more tweak. Yeah, we could use a bit more toe anyway, so. Okay. okay. Maybe if you just towed that one yeah. to yeah. 5 eighths. Sweet. There. So cool. We'll remeasure the toe, make sure we didn't move that too much. And yeah, it looks pretty square. Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks better. Are we still level? We're still pretty level, bud. Cool. Cool. All right. Like it. Yeah, yeah. right at uh, right at 53. Cool. So. Quarter inch. Yeah. Perfect. Quarter inch toe, one degree of camber, so full race we, mode. Uh, yeah, man. So we can't quite get to all the uh, all the lock nuts on these Heims as it is. So now we'll lift it up in the air, pull the tires off, lock everything down. But we wanted to do the adjustments at ride height. So rear end's good. That was easy. Boom. Heck yeah, dude. All right, rear's locked in. So we're jumping to the front now. Um, you know, basically the same thing. So the only thing we got to adjust up here is the toe. So we're gonna do the same thing, about a quarter inch of toe in. That's you know probably your most common setup. So toe in typically is gonna be your most stable at speed. Um, some guys like to run toe out. You're gonna get a little bit more responsive steering that way. You're gonna get a little bit more oversteer though. So with these things where you're in the dirt, you're driving with the throttle, you know, toe in is the, the setup typically. That's what I've always run, that's what I like. So that's what we're gonna do, and that's a recommendation of Lone Star. So let's do her. I think we can go maybe, yeah, maybe below. Yeah, so basically the method here is exactly the same as the rear. You measure from inside of the rim, inside of the rim, front and back. And then just use your tie rods to uh, adjust your toe. Yep, so we got 52 in the front. And yeah, we got about 52 and 5 eighths in the back. So we got about 5 eighths of toe in right now. That's, you know, that's too much. So yep. we'll bust these things loose and shorten up the, uh, the links a little bit. Where are my lug nuts? Yeah. So, unfortunately, um, the front tie rods on these are not right-hand thread, left-hand thread on the joints. So Unlike the Himes in the back. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So that makes it a little bit more pain in the butt to adjust, because if you crack them loose and start turning the rod, it just threads up and down, doesn't actually adjust anything. And there's no, like, flats on the inner uh, end, ball end, you know, to turn that. So, basically, it leaves you with pulling the tire off, taking this outer bolt off, 
pulling the tie rod out, making your adjustment, and putting it back in. So, Can Am likes to do that, you know, for various reasons. I guess my old Maverick was like that. I was kind of hoping the X3s were different, but not the case. So, no big deal. Yeah, been here before. Yep. Drop her down, make her work. Right. Oh, yeah. Crossing our fingers. So, to get her at ride height ish. Find our tape measure. What are we doing now? Just saying hi to you, bud. It's been a while. <laughs> Alright, Mike, this is it, man. It's gonna be the one. We're gonna hit around the head this time. We are at 51 and a half. Okay, that sounds good. I'm gonna guess you're gonna be at 51 and Quarter? three quarters in the back. Three quarters? Oh, yeah. 51 and three quarters right on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lying either. I swear that's actually what I measured. Well, that's what the math would be. <laughs> that's like the difference. It makes sense. It makes sense. Your measurements will, you know, they'll change a little bit depending on where the suspension's sitting. But so yeah, that's it. That's about a quarter inch of toe in. So we're just gonna lock the jam nuts down, get this thing a once over, and then I think it's time to take it for a rip. Finally. Sender, bud. Excited. Let's do it. All right, here we are. What's going on, man? Yeah, so we are out here with the uh, fully adjusted LSR suspension kit. We got everything locked down. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, it's like the windiest day. This is the windiest day ever. It's it's terrible out here. So, uh, apologies for the audio, but we're going to give it a little bit of jump. So this thing has not been jumped this year, I don't think. I don't think so. And uh, it's muddy, it's crappy. And uh, you might want to take a good look at the suspension. This is as nice as it's going to look. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad. It's typical Michigan February here. We got some warm days. Everything's melted down and it's just frost is coming out of the ground. It's solid muck. So these things are going to be brown in a minute. Just, ah, they're so nice. Yeah. Well, I feel. As always, you know, safety first. Got the helmet, got the harnesses. We're going to put her in four wheel and see what happens. All right, bud. I feel terrible about this. I know, it's so light, it's so clean, it's so nice. It's like too nice. I have no remorse at all. Not one bit. Not one bit at all. Oh. Just, yeah, not getting enough drive because it's so muddy. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh oh my god pretty bad pretty bad yeah, it's muddy um I'm not sure how useful the jump is today yeah I yeah I just lost all speed and I figured I wouldn't bother <laughs> let's hit the whoops we'll see what happens all right whoops. sounds good trying to be funny here or not but I'm driving this thing and I'm thinking it's got no power dude someone put the green key in it oh no <laughs> I don't take the key out of this so someone's playing a little joke on me man who would that be <laughs> anyways it looks really good man it's yeah. uh you know just sweet looking and it sounds really good too like there's no clunks there's no squeaks no yeah not at all man i still want to really attempt to hit this jump i'm gonna roll i'm just gonna roll over it and see what happens maybe if you roll it a couple times yeah yeah Beat it down a bit all right wish nick would live that life the power wash life right after he does that <laughs> <laughs> nick ain't about that power wash life oh hell yeah okay dude. okay that was awesome all right yeah, that wasn't dude. bad I was just videoing right into the sun, probably can't even see it, but... It came off incredibly sideways, but we did it. Man, man, perfect. yeah. You yeah, gotta yeah. do it again, kind of, because we both missed it. <laughs> oh, we it, huh? <laughs> We're no. kind of in awe watching this thing fly. Real beauties on the camera. We got it, I got it, bud. We All were right. looking at the sun, though, so I don't know how well it turned out. All right, everybody, get ready. All right, dude.
man. Yeah, it's really good schedule. This I, thing is so dang wide. I can try the dozer out there. I just, I, I don't know. Clean up the face of the jump. The the bottom part is whatever at this point. Yeah. Yep. I can try it, man. If it's right. if it's too wet, it's too wet. We'll give her a shot. Let's do it. We got the jump fixed up a little bit with the dozer. It's muddy, but maybe a little better. I'm ready for it, dude. I'll give her another run. Yeah. Okay. Get some more speed to that bottom section. Yeah, it's tough, man, but. done man truthfully <laughs> uh, man yeah I uh, it sounds ridiculous and I was saying this to Mike but it, it feels just better on the landing I don't know how to describe that. a little more solid maybe yeah I yeah, mean solid like it clunked a lot the stock shit clunked a lot uh, I just have no issue with this no clunking no anything it sounds really really like, good it just lands when it comes down super nice really really good like, cool I'm, man I'm gonna keep jumping it Fun. Do it. <laughs> That's a pretty intense wind. I don't think that that wind has been intense since about three it in the stops. morning. It comes and it goes. <laughs> And the wind ain't going nowhere. you right. Oh, look at right. that. The wind just stopped. Weird. Anyway, so as, as Doug was saying, we were just commenting on how nice these mud flaps have been working. And they're not, you know, just mud flaps. They're like a rock block kind of thing. They really do work, man. I mean, for yeah. what you were just doing, the suspension, the wheel is not that bad. It's not packed with mud, so. All right, and I got to say thanks to Lone Star on this whole thing, man. This is uh, turned out to be a badass build. You know, we're obviously not done yet with the Lone Star stuff we are. And uh, huge thanks to them. This thing feels great on takeoff, on landing, and corners it feels good. You know, I'm not getting the popping and the shit that I normally would get before. No complaints, it's badass. So uh, check out lsracing.com, see what they got for your X3, and uh, maybe you can send it too. So windy out here, unreal windy. Reminds me of the time back in uh, Oklahoma when we were ready to do a windstorm. Oh yeah, let's cut to that real quick, show that one. Can uh, I think he just hit something. Oh my god, he lost his hat. <laughs> oh, his hat's gone. <laughs> his hat is gone, he's chasing it. He's chasing the hat. <laughs> Good video. Not the first time you lost your hat, Dougie D-string. No, it's not. 